Hey everyone, Desiree here. So in today's video, I am going to do a what's in my bag because I'm in the process of doing a bag switch and I'm moving out of my tote and I'm going to move into a different bag, a brand new bag, which I'm excited to show you. This is my Dooney & Burke. I'm pretty sure this is the Greta tote. Now this bag is an older style bag. Uh, they do still sell this tote on the Dooney & Burke website, but they don't sell, like they don't have it in this colorway. Now this is a thrifted bag. I actually got this bag a little over a year ago and I absolutely love it. And uh, it's a great bag. It's very well made. Oops, <laughs> I keep hitting, hitting the camera. Sorry about that. So I figure I will do a what's in my bag because I have become slightly obsessed with watching what's in my bag videos. So I thought it would be fun to do one myself. Um, yeah, so that's how it looks. <laughs> now this is a very well made bag, like I said. I absolutely love it. Um, I am a huge fan of Dooney & Burke. I recently just started using Dooney & Burke. I got my first one last year. And I've been hooked ever since. I have to say, I do think that Dooney & Burke is my absolute favorite bag. Even, I think I love it more than my Louis Vuitton just because, um, I don't know, the quality, the workmanship. You know, a lot of people have said LV has gone down in quality over the years, and I do agree with that. So, let's go ahead and dive in. So you can see it's pretty roomy. Now this bag does have a zipper closure. I rarely, I rarely close or use the zipper just because I go in and out of my bag quite a bit. But you can see it does have a really nice zipper closure and it's a very secure bag. It's not too heavy even though I fill it up and um, I know a lot of people like to see the bottom so she does have feet and yeah, let's get right into it. So, uh, the first thing I've got is my LV wallet. Now, this thing I've had for years. I got it as a gift, and it is <laughs> it has been with me through thick and thin. Uh, I do think I want to get a new wallet, though. I'm not sure. I haven't found a Dooney & Burke wallet that I absolutely love, at least not yet. Uh, so I'm kind of in, in the market looking for a new wallet. Now I'm not the kind of person where my, my wallet has to match the bag. I don't really care too much about that. I just want to make sure that I have a wallet that I love and a purse that I love. So I don't really care too much about it matching. But anyway, this is my wallet and I'm not going to open it up just because I do have my ID and credit cards and stuff like that in there. Next up, uh, I am still very much <laughs> very much into um, I guess trying to keep things sanitary and clean so this is my little wipes pouch which I have had for well over a year now you know we have all kind of been a little bit more uh, I guess diligent about keeping our spaces clean so I've got a pack of Clorox wipes in here and then I have a pack of wet ones uh, antibacterial wipes and I just kind of use them whenever I feel I need to and um, oh there's another little wipe in here this is cow shed a little towelette I think I got free in something I never used it so I just threw it in here so when I do need a little wipe or something I do have it available and this is a little zip pouch by um, Ziploc I think they were on clearance at the grocery store, so I bought a pack. I think they come in like a five pack or a six pack or something like that. Okay, next I do have my card holder, and I do use this for insurance cards for me and my son. And then I have uh, my Sam's Club card, library card, grocery store cards, Sephora, and Ulta. And I keep this separate from my wallet because I don't use these cards as often. But also, I didn't want to bulk up the wallet by putting too many cards in there. This is a Margot a Margo, um, card holder, I guess. 
it's really well made. I got it at TJ Maxx, I think, for like $9.99. Uh, it does have a zipper compartment, but I don't have anything in there. And I really like it. It's kind of like a burgundy color. All right, next I do have my son's inhaler. My son has asthma, so I always keep one in my purse because when we're out and if something happens, I don't want to not have it. I also have a little coin purse here. I picked this up from the Goodwill not too long ago. I haven't put anything in it because I literally just got it, and then <laughs> the day I got it, I threw it in my purse. But uh, I was going to use it for coins, but I'm not sure... I wanted to put maybe some, um, you know, like maybe vitamins or something. I'm not quite sure, uh, but anyway, that's in here. Next, I have my little cosmetic pouch or my on-the-go everything pouch. So if I'm out somewhere and I don't want to take the big tote, I can just take this little thing with me. You can see I've got uh, some feminine products in there. I have a powder brush, uh, HD finishing powder, so if I'm out and I'm shiny. This is a mirror that I got <clears throat> in an Anastasia brow kit, and I really like it because it has the, it has the, uh, magnifying side and then the regular side. This is a lip balm, also from Cowshed. I have dental floss in case I need it. Rewetting eye drops because sometimes I do wear contacts and I need this. This is a relaxing pillow spray. I've never used this, but I got this free in a, like I said, a little kit or something, so I just threw it in here. It also came with a little a lotion or a hand cream. I've got a Vaseline lip balm or lip therapy, whatever that is. Uh, I've got some Ricola cough drops, you know, in case you get a dry throat. I also have one of my favorite body oils. This is Water God Goddess. I've been using this for years, and every time I use it, I get compliments. People ask me, what are you wearing? So uh, I buy it on Amazon. They're not that expensive. But like I said, I think I've been using this since I was in high school. Um, what else is in here? Oh, I have a chapstick for my son because he gets really chapped lips. And then this little pouch has kind of like a first aid pouch. I've got Advil, Band-Aids, uh, more little hand wipes, and I think that is it. So I keep all of that in here. Uh, I also have my LV, I forgot what this is called, like the clay or something like that. This is where I keep my, my coins. So I just keep my change in there and I keep it attached to the uh, key fob or the key finder in the bag. I don't attach my keys to this because I, I don't know, I just don't like using it for my keys. So I keep my coin purse in here because it seems to work better for me, you know, when I need like change because I don't keep, I don't keep coins in the wallet. Because uh, when I got this, the sales associate, she said, don't put coins in your wallet because it kind of bulks it up and then it mis misshapens it. So I also have this uh, little pen pouch. And I've got pens in here because I never use public pens. So I've got a paper mate, oh, two paper mate flares, an ink joy. This is a corporate pen, gel ink. These are the Erin Condren scissors. Uh, this is an Erin Condren pen, and then one of those sparkly gem pens, which were real popular a couple years back. And that's it, and I keep all my pens in here. And I always keep my pens in a separate bag because I'm, you know, I'm worried about pens leaking and stuff. I have had that happen. 
and so at least if they're in here um, you know it won't get ink all over the bag and I bought this on Amazon I want to say it was like $7.99 or something like that and it's the perfect size and it's a faux leather but um, it's really well made so I love it okay so that's all that's in the bottom part of the bag in the side pockets I have a battery for my camera for when I'm on the go I always keep a spare battery in this pocket I have my magnifying <laughs> magnifier because when you become a woman of a particular age sometimes you need help reading the small print on things so I keep this in here I don't use it all the time but every now and again I do need it so I like to have it plus it has a light so it kind of doubles as a flashlight uh, I also have my uh, this is a laser pointer that I bought from the Dollar Tree and believe it or not this thing comes in handy a lot especially if you <laughs> are out shopping or something and there's something behind the counter you just use your laser pointer and you can point specifically to whatever it is and uh, I just keep it in this side pocket so it's one of those things where you didn't know you need it until you need it uh, I also have my dad's house keys and what else is in here? Uh, my mailbox key. And then I have another little um, portable flashlight. So uh, I think I got this free from a show, Rock of Ages or something. I think I went, yeah, I went to the opening night uh, show and they gave these out as part of the, um, the uh, press kit. So that is it in this pocket. On this side, I've got a Kleenex tissue and then another little flashlight. This is the one that I see all the girls <laughs> that they uh, keep in their purse. It's from Dollar Tree and it's a really good flashlight, really strong. I have used it a couple times. And again, you know, sometimes you're out and about and you do need. A quick pop of light so I have that in there so that's it that's in this pocket in this side pocket I have my Laneige lip balm and then I have my ultra repair hand cream uh, this is first aid beauty I think I got this in a I think I got it in a um, advent calendar last year I think. Uh, anyway, I love this hand cream. I need to buy the full size. This is almost empty, but I haven't thrown it away because I want to remember to pick this up, and I think they sell it at Sephora. Uh, what else? Oh, and I've got another hand cream. This is a L'Occitane Rose Scented Hand Cream, and I got this in a advent calendar as well. So that is it that was in my bag. Um, you know, it holds a lot of stuff, like I said, and I love this bag. It's perfect for spring and summer, but I am moving into my favorite style of bag. Now, I love totes and uh, drawstring and satchel bags, so I am going to move into a drawstring, a brand new one that I just got. Let me show you. I picked this up at the Dooney and Burke outlet here in Las Vegas. I don't know why I didn't take the plastic off. But it is another gorgeous bag. Now I also think this one is the Greta also. It's just different. This one looks like it's kind of a gray with the monogram. It also has a uh, front pocket. And this one is kind of a I guess golden brown monogram print and then this one is like a, a grayish monogram and this one also has the feet and like I said the drawstring is my favorite well 
I can't say it's my ultimate. Well, maybe it is my ultimate favorite, but it's it's such an easy bag to keep things organized in because you can kind of stand everything up. And yeah, this is the Greta drawstring. Now this tag is $2.98. I did not pay that. I bought this at the outlet and I think it was like $100, like $1.00 eight or something like that you know or 106 106 like I did not pay this price so we do have a Dooney and Burke outlet here in Las Vegas at the outlet mall and uh, so if you're ever in Las Vegas and you're a Dooney and Burke fan uh, you need to stop by because they have some amazing deals uh, as a matter of fact I have to stay away from there because every time I go I see something I want so uh, what I'm gonna do is so you don't have to hear all this Rus rustling and <laughs> of the paper. Uh, let me go ahead and pause the video. I'm going to put everything back into this bag and then I will show you how it all fits. Okay, and we are back and I got everything inside <laughs> the drawstring. Now, this bag, I didn't realize, I mean, I knew it was smaller than the tote but I didn't realize that this is not like the larger drawstring because I have another one that's slightly bigger than this a pebble grain drawstring so I had to get a little bit creative as far as getting everything in but I managed to do it and you know the bag is not overstuffed or you know hard to get in and out of with all of my things now like I mentioned earlier the thing I love about the drawstring bag is that, you know, you can stand your items up. Like in this case, I have things, you know, standing straight up on the side. Like I have my wallet standing straight up and my cosmetic pouch is, you know, standing up on its side instead of laying horizontally, I guess would be the way to say it. Same with my pen pouch. So it makes it really easy to grab stuff because I can see everything at a glance. Now, when I do close this bag, you know, it closes enough to where I feel like I feel totally secure that this bag is not easy for someone to just reach their hand in and take something out. So um, I absolutely love it. I love this bag. I love the wide handle strap because it makes it so comfortable to carry. I'm a shoulder carry girl. I do not do crossbody straps at all because I find them uncomfortable. But um, yeah, so I've got everything in there and in the front pocket, that's where I put my uh, keys, you know, the my mailbox key and my house key. So that makes it really nice. So I don't have to, you know, dig too much to get that in and out. And yeah, like now I could add you know, I still have plenty of room to put my phone in, uh, which I don't have. It's charging. But, you know, my iPhone can go right here with no problems. And that is it. So let's see if I... Yeah, so I think that might be better. <laughs> Using my little uh, flashlight that you guys saw so you can take a good look at how I've got everything structured in there so so anyways this is going to be my spring bag at least for now now I don't change bags that frequently I just kind of change them when I feel like it so sometimes I'll stay in a bag for a week sometimes I'll stay in a bag for like two months or three months or however long you know just as long as it's working for me I will stay in it uh, but because this was a new bag I really wanted to use it and I wanted to you know try it out because um, I've never had a drawstring this size. Like I said, the other one I have is a little bit bigger. So, yeah, this is this is definitely working. It smells amazing, and I'm really happy with the colorway. And, uh, yeah, that's going to be it. So I hope you guys enjoyed a look at this video and this beautiful new bag, like I said. Um, I got it at the outlet, so I'm not sure if it's available on the website, but if you are in Las Vegas, make sure you check out the Dooney and Burke outlet. I think it's at the uh, premium outlets, I think it's called. 
So if you have any questions or anything, uh, feel free to drop them down in the comment section below. I want to thank you so much for taking the time to watch. I'll see you again in the next video.